we're going to use Dijkstra, shortest path algorithm that we just learned, to find an augmenting path using the minimum number of edges. Now, we can just pass over to a different setting and formalize a, an instance of Dijkstra. But traditionally, that's not done. Uh, instead, there's an algorithm which is called the Ford Fulkerson labeling algorithm. And depending on which book or which set of papers you read, the, the notation will be slightly different. Uh, I, I've settled on a notation that I want you to, to pay attention to and, and answer uh, questions on network flows using this algorithm and this labeling scheme. So what the, our algorithm is going to do is going to assign to vertices triples. It's going to label some vertices. The algorithm will halt if we ever label the sink. Because when we label the sink, we will have found an augmenting path. All right, so now let's put a few more details in. We're going to start by labeling the source with a triple star plus infinity. Okay, let, let me sort of suggest what those three symbols mean. The source gets its resources from somewhere. I don't know where. Um, an oil well, workers manufacturing things, stars, that's somewhere. And there's no arrows coming into the source. So the source just creates stuff. The plus means, well, it got it from something that just came in. Uh, okay. And infinity, there's no bound on the amount that the source is capable of producing. Later, I'll make a comment, because in many real world situations, there really is a bound. The source does have limited capacity. All right, now we are going to scan using the rule, the basic rule for breadth first search. The first time we label in the order that we label the vertices, we will scan from them. And so our first scan takes place from the source. And when we scan from a vertex, we're going to look at all of its neighbors. Now, in what order are we going to look at them? We're going to look at them in an order that I call pseudo-alphabetic. Now, remember, I'm using letters for vertices. And I run out of letters after 26 of them if I'm using capital letters. So, so I'm really trying to be suggestive. You should think that I'm working with 100,000 vertices, and uh, the vertices are labeled 1 through 100,000. And now, what I want to capture with my alphabet is that my source is my first vertex, and my sink is not the last, it's the second. So number one is source, number two is sink. Now, it will become clear to you why I want the sink to have this early position. Roughly speaking, it's that the whole goal is to get to the sink, so put it close to the source so you scan it as soon as you can. Okay, so the pseudo-alphabetic order means on the letters S, T, then A, B, C, D, E. That's the pseudo-alphabetic order, and that's the order that you scan on. So when you're scanning from S, you look first for T and see if there's an edge. Later, if you're scanning from this vertex, you look T, then A, then B, then C, then D, etc. Okay. But once you have labeled a vertex, you never include it as a neighbor when you're doing a scan. You never include it again. All right. Here's the way that you complete the scan. 
Scan the neighbors in pseudo-alphabetic order, but only looking at unlabeled, so the unlabeled ones in your list. And now, if you find a neighbor and it's directed from X to Y, and that edge is not full, then you're going to label Y, and you label it with a triple. The triple is X plus and a quantity. Okay, now, why putting X? This tells me that the label from on Y came from X. The plus tells me that I got it by going in the forward direction. And then the quantity is what amount could I get to X and what's the spare capacity across? I take the minimum of those and that's the amount that I put as the third component of the triple. If the edge is backwards and it goes from X to Y backwards, and it's not empty, then we're going to label Y this way. Y gets its label from X, but the second coordinate is negative. That just tells me that it goes backwards. And now the quantity I put on it is the minimum of the amount on X and the excess flow. And that's the triple. Any time I label the sink, I halt, and backtracking will specify an augmenting path using the minimum number of edges.